Hi, my name is Paul Toronto. I'm a graduate of the Roger A. Saunders School of Hotel and Restaurant Management at Newbury College. Today we're going to make French fries. So I'm using a 50 count, which is about 50 to a case of potatoes, a russet potato. This is a mandolin. Mandolin is a very, very sharp object. It has all sorts of blades on it. Um, and they're about $100. They're a great, great tool to slice and dice and make it a lot easier in your hands with a knife. So we're going to take the mandolin, and I have it on a French fry cut, which I call a French fry cut or a batonet cut. So we have a th thick opening, sharp blade, potato. And over here I have a bowl of water. So we're going to put the potato once we slice it into the water, and then we're going to blanch it twice. First to soften the potato, the second blanch in the fryer will be the crisp potato. So we're going to run the potato, you have to be very careful, on the mandolin. And once you start getting toward the end, you take a rag, or you hopefully have a guard at home, to avoid cutting your finger. Okay, so we'll take the potato, and just not to waste anything, I go to the side once we get down low too. But always use a rag, don't be daring. put the potato in our water. We'll let this sit for an hour or so, and then we'll blanch in the fryer. First at 250 degrees, the second blanch will be about 360 degrees. So now we're gonna fry the potatoes. I have my rest of the potatoes drained, water-free, because we don't want them to splatter, especially if you're using a little fry daddy at home or a pot. So we're gonna take the potatoes, we'll put them into the fryer later, I'm going to fry these until, until soft. You see all that bubble? That's the excess water on the fries. So this is going to fry at 250 degrees for I'd say about a minute and a half to two minutes until you push on the french fry and it's soft. So our french fries have been in a few minutes. They're actually starting to brown. And this is the first blanch. Again, it's 250 degrees. If you don't have a fry later, which I'm sure most people don't, um, you could just use a little fry daddy or a pot. You just put a, a, a thermometer right in the pot so that you know that you're not going to boil it over or burn yourself. So the french fries, again, when you can take out a fry, they're hot, you want to squeeze it. And this is what I look for. I look for that cooked potato in the middle. It's still soft on the outside for the first blanch. Take the fries out. We'll drain some of that fat. I'm going to raise the temperature, you know, it'll lose a fry, of the fry later. Then we're going to put it back in to crisp it up at 350 to 360 degrees. And we'll have our french fries. So now our french fries are cooled, they've drained. Um, we're going to put them back in the fry later. We're going to get that second finish on here. Put all the fries back. Again, these are cool. We're going to dunk them for about another minute or so. We're going to get them crispy, 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 and finish with a little bit of salt. So our French fries are nice and golden brown. We're going to let them drain for a second. Then we're going to put them on our our, our uh, dry towel so that we can get all that extra grease out of there. We don't need to add any more fat to the fry. So take it out, that excess grease, and then we're going to put it right on this towel. We're going to go right with a little bit of kosher salt. And this is when you can add a spice, right? If you had any extra herbs that you had in your, you know, drying out some rosemary or some even some great parmi grated Parmesan cheese. And that's it. Crispy fry.